Hi everybody, it's Nicole with Stargazer Soaps. I am making, um, I don't even know how to describe this one. This is kind of a fruity scent, but it's pretty feminine. It's, uh, I'm trying to remember the description. I'm making six soaps today, and I did just look at this one, but I've got a lot going on with the kids, and forgot. Uh, candied apples, pomegranate, do you remember what else? Yeah, she doesn't remember either. Um, I don't know, but anyway, it smells ridiculously good. Uh, this this one, we all opened the bottle and went, oh, you gotta make that one today. Even though I wasn't planning on doing any fruity soaps. But this one, we feel like it's kind of flirty. So we're gonna do some bright colors. And just a hint of white. Can you see this in the uh, camera, dear? Yeah. Thank you. Just a touch of white. And you think that'll be enough color? Mm, yeah. Enough of the blue and the pink and then do the rest purple? Yeah. All right, that actually might be too much blue and pink. <laughs> so my kids got to help decide what fragrances to soak today. And they're taking turns picking out color. You know, I started this whole soaping thing for my kids. One of my daughters, actually the one who's standing here with me, developed a severe, severe eczema a few years ago. Um, it was it was bad, and the doctors wanted to put her on steroids, which when you have bad eczema, it's what they usually want to do. And I said, no way. I wanted to go on steroids. Um, so I started researching, and I learned all I could about eczema. And, you know, there's so many different theories, but I don't know what causes eczema. I'm going to hand blend these to get any colorant off the bottom, and then I'll stick blend them. But anyway, um, we tried the diets. I tried every single product over the counter. And still nothing was helping. It was getting worse and worse. I, you know, some people swear it's a gut issue. I, maybe for some people it is, but for my kids it is not. So I actually have three that have eczema. I have it as well. Um, but anyway, so then I started researching making my own soap. Because during my research, and I learned all the products they put in our body products, or all the chemicals and formaldehyde. I mean, really? Formaldehyde? Um, the phthalates and the parabens, DEA, and I mean, just scary, scary, scary stuff. So I started learning all I could about making soap. So anyway, I learned all about um, what oils do to soap, the different oil properties. I read everything that I could find on making soap, and then I started making it. I started with recipes from books, and then I started making my own. And a lot of time, a lot of experimenting, which means a lot of money, went into developing my soap. And it has been life-changing for us. Um, we cleared up my daughter's eczema, and, you know, it's not cured. You can't cure eczema, but we can certainly soothe it now. Um, it's been, it's been incredible. Uh, there are a lot of bubbles in here. I'm going to stir these out. So if I ever stop making soap, which I will only do so if both of my arms are removed and my legs, because I could probably figure out how to do it with my toes. I don't know. Maybe not. Anyway, I will never go back to buying commercial products again. You know, our skin is the largest organ of our body, and it absorbs everything so quickly. And the ironic thing is, you know, they put things like petroleum in lotions and stuff so that it doesn't soak in, and uh, you have to apply it more often, which means you have to buy it more. So it does the opposite. You think you're moisturizing your body with these commercial products when you're really just sucking the moisture out. Thick. Yeah, that got thick. Um, I 
looking for a particular spatula. I couldn't find it, so I'll use this one. But I'm sure many soap makers have stories not unlike my own. You know, why do you start doing things? A lot of times it's out of necessity. camera dear mm. you see what I'm doing yeah, I just, uh, yeah. okay thank you hopefully there's some definition to the colors I was thinking about swirling but you know I don't think I'm going to what do you think swirl or no swirl And the swirl is coming, I'm thinking too. Just let it swirl itself, huh? Yeah. All right. Pretty sure I'm in the camera now, but there isn't really a good place to. Yes, got to do this otherwise. Pretty fluid. Except for the white, you know, which tends to thicken up anyway. Did a good job picking colors here. She had some help, but. When they when they pick a color and it's one that they really want, we usually go for it. And they get to go to the farmers markets with me and to help sell and they get to help we sample like lotions and sugar scrubs at the show and they get to guide people through that, which is fun. I'm going to get any more out of there. The mold is a little full. So this is going to be a nice big bar. Yeah. Okay. So I'm not going to smack this down because it's so full. I don't want to risk a mess. How cool that looks. You like it? Yeah. We weren't going to do the white. We were just going to stick with the, the teal and the purple and the pink, but I like the white. I think it gives it a little, a little bit of a kick. Mm -hmm. Add some glitter. Mm -hmm. Clean up the edges here. 
carefully. Try to anyway. It smells so good. Yeah. Okay. Don't go anywhere. I will attach the cutting video to the, the back of this one. Okay, here's the soap. I think I'm going to name this one Miranda after a moon, um, one of Uranus's moon, moons. This one smells even better today than it did yesterday. Look how cool that is. Pretty. That looks like a flower. Mm -hmm. But there are definitely floral notes. I mean, not floral notes, some fruity notes in this one. I'm very happy with this. Mm-hmm. It smells really good. I just can't remember the scent description. I did so many soaps yesterday. And then I had a market today, and uh, it was 85 degrees here today, and we haven't had summer. We've gone, we've had some nice warm days, but we go from like 40 to 80 overnight, and it's really hard to get adjusted to that. And so I sat in the sun all day, which I'm not complaining because I love the sun. I love the heat, but I'm really tired and my head is hurting so I cannot remember the fragrance description for this one however this soap will be cured around June around June 10th 2015 and will be available on my website at stargazersoaps.com thanks for watching Bye.